Hey guys, sorry I'm a little late. I was sorting out some lighting. Can you guys hear me all right? What am I doing now? All right, what's up, guys? I hope everyone is doing all right. It's been a little while since I've been live on my channel. But I thought I would jump on the live today. We're supposed to have two packages, but I ended up with three today, which is quite interesting. See, this one I wasn't expecting today, but I was expecting these two. So I'm thinking I'm going to open up the mystery one first and then I'll get into the other two. Just wait for a few more peeps to join in and we'll get the unboxing started. How's everyone doing? This one I don't know. If I'm completely honest, I don't know what's inside this one. And I have a feeling I kind of know what it is, but I wasn't actually expecting it to come today. But lost me knife so I'm gonna use a uh, uh my tongues today to open up the stuff. Let's here. Oh cool. Alright cool. So this is um actually from Richard's inverse and if you guys don't know who Richard is he's a really good beetle breeder here in the UK and uh what he did on Facebook was in the Beetle group chat, he organized like he was giving out free Beetle grubs, which they were free. Um, you just had to cover postage, which was six pounds. That's pretty cool. And he has this really good care sheet for how to take care of beetles, everything from ventilation to humidity, how to change the substrate, etc., etc., all the L stages. But yeah, that's pretty cool. I wasn't expecting this today because he didn't actually say when he was going to be sending them out. So let's see what's inside. We've got the first one here. An M Savagey. L3, unsexed. And then we got P. Erog. If I'm completely honest, guys, I can't remember exactly what I got from him because it was quite a while ago that I contacted him and everything. And when I did contact him, I was a little late, so I did miss out on some of the coolest stuff that he had available. But do I want to get these out now? Uh, I'm not too sure because I'll make a mess. But yeah, these are pretty cool. Um, let me see if I can find an empty tub of some. Oh. Okay, I can get them out and show you guys, and just had this spare tub that I had. Give you guys a better look. You see, this is a, a flake soil. Really good substrate for beetles, as it, um, it's what they primarily feed on. Ooh, that is a hefty sized grub. See that there? Oh, pretty soft one. This looks to be a, a young L3. But this is pretty awesome. No, I'll show the scientific name again. I'll probably end up picking some more of these eventually to get some breeding colonies. I am planning to make a breeding, a beetle breeding video soon, showing off all the beetles I've got at the moment. But yeah, pretty cool. I'm just gonna try not make too much of a mess right now. Pop that guy back. I'll do this off camera so I can not spill everything everywhere. But yeah, it's pretty cool. Guys can message Richard to see if he has anything else uh, still. I'm not too sure because when I messaged him, he was really low on stock. And uh, I'm not too sure if he has anything else, but I probably will get a few more of these. And Savage or Savage A, how do you pronounce it? Yeah, just uh, move that. 
Yeah, it was pretty cool. I wasn't expecting him to come today. He didn't actually say to me when uh, he was going to ship these out. So pretty cool to have. I was really expecting to only have two packages that you saw from the thumbnail. L1. Get this opened up. Oh, okay. That is a tiny little one. Can you see it there? Let's just uh, shake that a little bit. There we go. Tiny little grub. Yeah, I I'll just put the flex oil back. Don't want to disturb it. But yeah, pretty cool. Pretty cool indeed. But yeah, if you guys want to see that, I am planning at some point to record a video with all my beetles. I have quite a few different species now that I haven't shown on YouTube. Uh, but if you follow me on Instagram, I do show a lot off on there. So if you guys are interested in seeing that, let me know. Yeah, they are tiny. Really, really tiny. So I'll pop these guys in the background so you guys can see them there. Next, we'll get into the isopods, which, um, as you saw from... Not so keen on the packaging. It did come in a letter, but what can you do? This is what you get for buying on eBay. You never know what um, the seller will send them in. In fairness, I have had much worse packaging. Like, at least look, see, it's got bubble wrap and everything. Like, you do get worse packaging on eBay. I had one time where I ordered isopods and I actually came in a plastic bag. Like, literally, the isopods were inside a plastic packet. As you guys can see here, I got a group of 10. Well, I did actually pay for eight, so 10 is pretty good. I got a group of Porcelio Flava Marginatus, which is a Spanish isopod, a little bit larger than your typical Porcelio Lavis, Dairy Cows, and all those other species of uh, typical common Lavis. But yeah, so, you know, for eBay, not too bad. No, 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 I didn't buy from Insect Libre, Ben. I just used his photo for the thumbnail, and I, you know, I'm not going to take a photo without crediting someone. Um, with the Asia Dodis, Ooh, excuse me, I asked Alan before I used his photo, and I just found this picture on Google for the thumbnail, so I just, you know, I'm not going to take a picture without crediting someone. I did put that myself. I did get the picture without uh, the watermark. I'm not going to use someone else's work. Um, oh, hey, Luke, you okay? I'm trying to get this. Ah, yeah, you know what? Let's go grab some scissors. For eBay, for eBay, it's not, not, not terrible. Yeah, I would prefer them to be in a box, but you know, what can you do? But yeah, can you guys see them? I'll get them lighter a bit more. Yeah, these are awesome. Really good size. I thought they'd be a little bit smaller. But yeah, I've been wanting to get some more Spanish isopods recently, so... I saw these for a really good price on eBay, and I was like, you know what? I've been wanting flavor margin artists for a while now. And they do get a little bit bigger than these. They do get a little bit bigger. I believe they get around this size odd. Yeah, the coloration is awesome. That's why I like Porcelli flavor margin artists. Like, recently, they've become a little bit more affordable for me, and uh, because people are breeding them more. Ah. Trying to get you know, I'm gonna leave the tape just because I don't want to actually take them out yet. I'm gonna be rehousing them off the stream. So, yeah, Flavor Margin Artists. Now, this I've been waiting for for a very, very long time. Now, this was sent to me from the one and only Mantis Manor. If you guys don't know who he is, definitely check out his company. I did make a video 
about a month or two ago, unboxing some glass mantis, cyanomantis mantis denticulata from him. Uh, but yeah, this this mantis, you guys saw in the thumbnail already, I'm not trying to hide it. Very special mantis. One species I've been looking to get for a very, very long time, if I'm really honest with you. This has been a dream species of mine. And I'm glad I managed to get my hands on one. And what I love about Mantis Manor is that he always has these like little packets, these little sticker packs. So as you see, this is what a fully grown Asia Dodus will look like. And I believe the species is Asia Dodus unanensis. And yeah, these are awesome, honestly. I've been wanting both Asia Dodus and Corridodus for a very long time. I believe I am getting a Corridodus in the next few months. I'm waiting on an oof to hatch and obviously for the nymphs to grow up. Uh, but yeah, these are this is awesome. I love the packaging. And uh, I'm just gonna get the little one out. Ah, oh, there we go, guys. As you see, Asian Shield Mantis, scientific name, Asia Dodus. Unanensis. Now oh, this is a beauty. Now I'm just gonna get you guys a little bit of a better look. I hope the camera quality is alright, guys. I haven't done a stream in a, a little while. I don't know how well you guys can see this little one. I believe it's L2. But for an L2, it's pretty decent size already. And uh, yeah, look, you can already see. Where they get the name shield from you can see on the back this one seems to be a little bit thirsty so i'm gonna see if i can grab my little mister give it a bit of a spray but ah so excited i wanted asia dodas and corridors for the longest time oh, of course i'm out of water okay i'll be right back guys just hold tight i'm just gonna grab some water give it a little spray Okay, so I'm just going to give you guys a little look at what the sticker packs come with. Just uh, whilst I'm just a little bit free at the moment. As you see, Mantis Manor, give him a follow, guys. He's a really nice guy. He's been hooking me up with so many different species. As you see, it comes with a little card, and you can put the name if you want to name your Mantis. Personally, for me, I don't name them. Uh, you can put the sex, temperature and whatever that means i think well, i don't know i think that means humidity and then you can see all the l stages here so yeah it's an l2 currently and hopefully i'll get it all the way to adulthood but let's just get the little guy out again ah oh, can't get over this look camera doesn't want to focus on it too much uh, give me a little bit of water but look how cute. Teeny tiny little one. Hoping it's a female. Uh, it's a little bit more difficult to sex Corridodus and uh, Asia Dodus. But yeah, awesome, awesome unboxing today, guys. Uh, I will be rehousing these little ones off camera. But for now, I think it's still a little early. Let's have a look at the time. Yeah, it's a little early still. I could probably do a little stream for maybe another 20 odd, 20 odd minutes. So if you guys want to see anything in my collection, there is a lot of stuff that I haven't posted on YouTube that I've got off camera. So if there's anything that you guys would like to see, please let me know. And I'll be more than happy to uh, show you guys what I have. Oh, I didn't get the sticker out. I love these stickers, they're actually so awesome, honestly. They're great. I might grab the Cynomantis one to show you. 
So yeah, awesome sticker. <laughs> yeah, pretty cool. Let's see. Glass Mantis, Alternans. Yeah, I actually did get a Scholar Pen Jar Alternans from TSS not too long ago. I'll be more than happy to get that out for you guys. Glass Mantis. Yeah, I can show off the Glass Mantis a little bit. They're really jumpy, so I don't know if I can get them out for too long. <coughs> Excuse me, but yeah, I'll definitely get some Glass Mantis out. I'm going to pop this stuff away. But yeah, I'll get the alternate off out first. Let's see. So just here. So I keep the alternands in this tub here. <coughs> hey, Tanya, how are you? Long time no talk. Just uh, showing off some of the stuff I have at the moment. There it is. There it is. There's my Scholar Pendra Alternand. This is the Florida Keys locale. Trying to get her on the cork before she tries to run away. Oh, now she's gone. Yep. This is the life of only centipedes. <laughs> uh, it's gone and buried itself. But you guys got a good look at that. That's my Scholar Pendra Alternand. Really cool species. Yeah, don't worry, Ben. I always know that it hides underneath the cork, so I'm more than comfortable to lift the cork up slowly just to see if it's sitting in there. But yeah, so Tanya, you missed it, but uh, I got a few stuff today. Got a really nice species of mantis, Asia dodus unanensis. Got a couple of beetle grubs uh, and the savage eye and the P. Erug. Erug. Then I got a group of 10 of the Porcellia flavor marginatus. You can see them there. <coughs> oh, got a bit of a cough. I promise it's not COVID. I had my COVID test recently. I do work at a hospital, so. Yeah. Um, let, me go, let me show you guys a glass mantis. They have grown quite significantly since the last video that I made of the... Um, Cyanomantis denticulata. Just slowly open the lid here. So this is a Cyanomantis denticulata. Don't know how well you guys will be able to see the little one, but I'm just going to show you quickly because these guys are very, very jumpy. Now you can see where they get their name glass mantis from. On the pretty much all white translucent body. What's really cool about this species is when you when you when they eat. You can see the food that they've consumed and it's really awesome. I believe my ones are females simply because of the growth rate on them, but they are very, very cool. And I have two of these and I have secured an opposite sex specimen if I do require one, which I probably will because these guys are from the same ooth and try to avoid inbreeding where possible. Yeah, pretty cool. Keep them in these little 32 ounce deli cups. Do absolutely perfect for them. Uh, just spray them every now and uh, every day. I spray them at least once a day, but when I have the chance, I will spray them twice a day. Um, simply because these guys require very high humidity. Now, is there anything else that you guys would like to see? Any mantis that you'd like to see? Uh, any tarantulas, beetles? Uh, any odd, odd bits? Like any requests at all? If not, I will show off a few things out of my choosing. So, yeah, if you guys want to see anything particular, let me know and I'll uh, grab them out for you. The rainbow stags. Ah, oh, you're making me dig today, Luke. All right, I'll grab them out if they're out. Usually they are buried up. Um, I'll see if I can grab a couple of the individuals. But yes, I do have a breeding colony of rainbow stags uh yeah so i'm gonna have some of these rainbow stags out this is the tub for them 
Now, just beware, there will be quite a few fungus snacks flying out of here because having beetle tubs, you're going to have fungus snacks. Oh, not too bad. As you can see, here are some of my rainbow stag beetles. I'm just going to adjust the camera and then bring down the tripod a little bit. As you can see, there are a couple females right there. I'm not sure if that's a female or a male, but I do have a 1.3 ratio of males to females. So this is a purple female. Now this is a rarer color morph here of this species. Pretty cool. And then, oh, let go please. There we go, I'll pop you there. And then this is a typical rainbow morph that you'll typically see. More of a green morph, but you can see like the coloration on the back. It is a typical rainbow morph. And yeah, so these guys have been laying up a storm. As you see, this piece of wood has just been absolutely destroyed. And they've probably been laying eggs in the substrate as well. Really awesome. I'm going to dig this little one out because it might be the male, but I'm not too sure. If you could get off, please, that would be fantastic. They can get off. <laughs> there we go. Got her off. Let's have a look here. Oh, yeah, this is the male. So as you see, the males do have larger mandibles and my male is a purple male which is awesome as you can see really stunning beetle and hopefully i'll get some grubs in the next few weeks they definitely be laying eggs because as you see they have been boring into the wood and i'm hoping for how oh his grip it's proper proper good there we go come on off you get go have some fun with your ladies come on Oh, come on. There we go. So now he's off. Off he runs. Are they pricey? Yeah, I mean, they aren't the cheapest stag beetles. Like, yeah, so uh, Luke said, yeah, they do have, TSS do have some large pairs at the moment from TSS. Um, they are pretty expensive. They're 60 quid pretty much for sex pair. Uh, so that's awesome. And then, yeah, so they're pretty cool. If anyone wants to see anything else, just give me a shout and I will try to show off what I can. Any more beetles, guys? If you guys want to see any more beetles, let me know. I'm just going to pop these guys back. But yeah, pretty cool. Hopefully we'll get some babies soon from these ones. Just gonna pop these guys back and I'll have a look at the chat again after. Okay. Blues, the blue death pain beetles and my h arizonensis i will definitely get those out if you guys want to have a look at those no problem so i have a communal tank which consists of three blue death painting beetles and one male uh, h arizonensis so you guys are actually seeing a lot of stuff that i don't typically show off as you can see, this is my communal tank. Really nice glass tank. Awesome, awesome little one. Got this out of a boot sale, actually. This is a tank for £2, £1.50. Yeah, 
one pound fifty, which is pretty good. I'll grab one of the blue death things out. I believe I have a two point uh, a one point two ratio for the blue death things, so could potentially give them a go breeding wise in the future. As you see, you can see why they play, why they're called blue death feigning beetles. Um, <laughs> you could tell <laughs> from the way they just pretend to be dead. But yeah, I have seen some mating action in here, so I don't know where the other one is. The other one might be in here. Yeah, it's just chilling with the Arizonensis. And as you see right here, let's go pokey in a little bit. There's the Arizonensis, really chubby little one. This one actually did come from Ben. I did buy him from him. But yeah, not too big a fan of the light. And as you can see, they are communal. Um, I often do see the blue death vein beetles uh, living with Harry. Um, but yeah, so pretty cool communal. Don't often feed them all that much, but yeah, pretty cool. Really, often, really, really cool communal. I do enjoy keeping these little guys. Um, yeah, it's great because you don't have to feed them often because scorpions don't need to eat often and blue death vein beetles, they don't need to eat often either. So, you know, you'll you'll leave like a little piece of apple, maybe a dead mealworm or a pre-killed locust cricket and uh, keep them at the front and you'll see the beetles come at night and they'll eat it. And then you'll leave something for Harry in front of his, he usually likes to sit here, but of course, because I spooked him, he went in there. But yeah, it's a great little tank. I'm really wanted to pick up some more blue death vein beetles because as you see, they, they typically are dormant. They just sit in a spot. I guess it's to save energy, but yeah, pretty cool species. And a great communal tank. If you guys are thinking of doing a communal, that actually works. Um, yeah, communal would be great for these guys. Put that back right there. So yeah, anything else you guys want to see? I'll probably do it like maybe another 10 minutes. Um... Could be, but he is pretty chubby. Like, he is eating a lot. Like, I gave him a meal, like, two weeks ago. Big cricket. So, he is pretty full. Uh, let's see. If you guys want to see assassin bugs, yes, I can show them. I have actually two species of assassin bugs. Uh, one is the horrid king assassin bug. And the other one is a really cool species that feeds on millipedes. But yeah, I'll show you some of the nymphs I have of the uh, Horrid Kings. Yeah, Tanya, they're an awesome communal. Like, it's a great communal because one, they actually have been noted to actually live together in the wild for a certain amount of time. And it actually works. Like, I've had them together for months now, no problem at all. But yeah, these are some assassin bugs. And as you can see, there's a mix of sizes. But yeah, I've got quite a few. Have even more in the main tank. If you guys are in the UK and you want a group, hit me up. I'll do them for a cheap price. I do also sell stuff on the business page, which is just my YouTube name, dot sales on Instagram. But yeah, you can see some of them are pretty chubby. Some of them could do a feeding. I'm going to replenish some feeders this weekend and get some feeders. What is my favourite tarantula at the moment? Well, I've got quite a few favourites, if I'm completely honest, Tanya. But I have to say my favourite would be my female Chromatopelma cyanopubescens, or the GBB. Or it would be my suspect female M. Balfouri. Don't keep it communal, I keep a single female. Or it could be... Ooh, tough choice. Love all my tarantulas, to be honest. It could be my P. regalis. I do like my P. regalis a lot. Uh, but yeah, so I'm just going to take the lid off because it has a bunch of dead insects I kept that uh, like pinned and stuff. You guys want to see those? My, some of my pinned inverts. Some of them are good. Some of them are not so good. <laughs> Leave the lid there. That. Yeah, so these are an, a millipede specialist assassin bug. Now, they actually only eat millipedes. These are a group of five that I picked up from Bugs UK. Really awesome species. Like, as you can see, they look really strange. Like, they really, like, 
smooth and they kind of look plastic like i don't know if i have a breeding group i could have a breeding group i could just have all the same sex um but they are really they're really awesome really cool species feed them some millipedes every now and then i'm trying to see if i can get some substitutes um going because you know it is it is pretty expensive to feed millipedes but at the moment i do have a breeding colony of uh, bumblebees so they were snacking on those and yeah so ben said he wants to see some of the dead ones so some of them include this lovely male even though he's a minor and he has a crooked horn um yeah pretty cool not the best pinning job kind of rushed it but yeah really cool i uh, have a female that's currently laying a bunch of eggs yeah i do breed bumblebee millipedes uh so yeah i'll keep them in the spotlight yeah so i'll only show some because some are good some are not uh, this one i'm really proud of this is a mature male Spignomantis medio constrictor. I'm actually quite proud of this one. I think this one turned out great. The wing on the left side could have done have been done a little better, but looks pretty good to me. I think that looks pretty good. I'm just gonna pop him next to the male. Yeah, he did die. He died a while ago, Ben. Um, but I think he did pair up with the female. So fingers crossed to get something. Got a male ghost that randomly passed away. Didn't really pin him, kind of just let him dry out. He matured down and a couple of days later he died, which was a shame. Same with my spiny female. She matured out and then passed away randomly, which was a shame. Possibly due to the heat wave. Um... My absolute favourite has got to be this female, Damon Medius. Like, come on, that looks insane. And I managed to pin the antenna intact. Like, she did already lose this one when she came to me. She didn't have the antennae. But, ah, oh, this, this girl is beautiful. She died a while back. And Bugs UK do have some adults in again, so I may have to give breeding these a go. But yeah, awesome, awesome. I think I'll just show off some of my dead bugs and then I'll finish the stream for today. Uh, let's see, not the greatest, but this is a C. humoratus or the wide arm mantis that I pinned. Not the greatest. As you can see, the abdomen could have done a little bit better and the wings, one broke off and you know, she kind of went brown. It looks all right. Looks all right. This is a pretty cool species. I have a pair. I had a pair, but the male dropped dead. But I'm getting another one soon. Uh, this one is a female Dorcas Titanus. Uh, I think the sub species is Palo Palawanicus. Unfortunately, she died randomly. I had no idea why. She dropped dead one day. I still have the male, if you guys want to see the male. The male is awesome, he's a nasty little thing. So aggressive. Uh, I'll show you guys a couple more. Let's see. I've got... Oh dear, no, please go back in the tub. Yeah, I keep these on top of the lid for the assassin bugs and they're climbing out. <laughs> I've got a mature male... H. Venatoria, which I think looks really realistic. Well, obviously it's realistic. It was an actual living thing, but I think it looks pretty good. It looks like it was actually alive. Like, holding it like that, you'd think it's alive, right? <laughs> I think it looks pretty good. But, yeah, so have him there. I'll show a couple more. Unfortunately, this uh, Philium Gigantium died a little early. Didn't manage to pin it. Dried out before I found it, but looks pretty cool. 
keep her in the back. And then last but not least, the very, very first invert I ever pinned was actually this little one. A heterometrous Selenus, which uh, you could tell it's not the greatest in the world. But I was quite proud of the fact that I was able to keep the stinger up. Like, this was a live scorpion. Well, it arrived to me DOA, but yeah. She looks pretty good. I think it was a she. Ben, was she a she? You're the one that sent her to me, isn't it? But yeah, this is the first one I pinned, and since then I've been trying to get better at pinning. Benatori looks awesome. Thank you, Ben. Appreciate that. Yeah, uh, Tanya, if you're talking about the Damon Medius, keep some. They are awesome. I'll show you um one of my whip scorpions I have at the moment. Oh, Ben, I don't want to show Spiky Girl because she kind of broke. <laughs> this is a Spiky Girl, my Cosmoderis femoralis, and she kind of broke apart. Some of the legs broke. Yeah. It's a shame, but... Is what it is, but yeah. So that's uh the dead stuff. <laughs> I keep a lot of dead stuff. It's uh you know one part of keeping inverts. You got to keep the dead stuff. I reorganize that all in a little bit, but I just want to quickly show Tanya the whip scorpion that I currently have. Mm, assassin bugs. Big spider. I don't feel like opening the lid for. So this, oh, I should have moved those. I'll leave them there, it's fine. This little one. If you're intimidated by the size of Damon Media's Tanya and you want to keep something that's a little smaller, Tony Webb currently has these on his site. And they're going for pretty cheap, £15. I bought this one actually a little bit more expensive when you have the price a little bit higher. But as you can see, this is a Katagaya species. A species from Thailand. Really, really cool. This is a male individual. Thinking about picking up a female. But this is um maybe sub-adult. Probably has another malt in him. But if not, it is already adult. Do recommend whip scorpions. They are awesome. Absolutely stunning species. And, you know, these ones are more reasonable size. Like, they don't get as big as Damon Medius. Like, this female, I don't think she was mature. I think she was actually sub-adult. But she was sold to me as an adult female. But who knows? I'm not an expert, but yeah. Oh, okay, fair enough, Tanya. But, you know, I, I see people, they want to keep the whip spiders, but they see Damon Medius, the most common one, and they go, oh, it's so big. It's like, oh, it's so scary. And it's like, ah, oh, Katagaius is like, you know, pretty, pretty awesome. Like, they're, they're small. They got a small body structure, but they got the long whips like Damon Medius. Um, Really cool species, don't need a lot of space, and, you know, I, I I personally just keep mine in a piece of cork and some moss in a tub like this with some vent holes on the top. Yeah, pretty good. Awesome species. And, yeah, 38. You know what? Let's take it up to 45. Let's take it up to 45. Anything else you guys want to see before I hop off today? I've got a few more things I would like to show. But I don't think I'll have enough time, unfortunately. It is a shame. But I do want to hop off fairly soon um, because, you know, I am working tomorrow and I do want to get to bed. But I don't want to sleep yet. I'm going to jump in Sam's live, potentially. I know he's doing a little unboxing on his channel as well. Whoops. Um, but yeah. Let's go pack these ones away. Oh, Wally! Hey, man, how you doing? Ah, uh, thanks, man. Appreciate that. Oh, you know what? I'm going to get out the Dorcas Titanus because that guy is a beast. I was really sad that the female died because I really wanted to have a go at breeding them, but I heard that the males are really aggressive towards the females and everything, so maybe that stressed her out and that's why she died. Not too sure, if I'm completely honest. Um, But, yeah... 
Yeah, definitely watch afterwards, Wally. Uh, I got a few awesome species. I did actually, oh, you know what? Because you're here, I want to show you the isopods. I got I got um, a group of Porcelio flava marginatus. You can see them there. I got 10 of them. I paid for eight, but I got 10, which is awesome. I'm going to be rehoming those soon. Yeah, before I jump off, guys, I'm just going to show off one more invert i will hopefully be doing another live soon if you guys enjoyed today's live definitely will be doing another one. Oh, okay tanya see you soon i'm ending this soon anyways but see so yeah, this is my male dorcas titanus now this is a beast look at him he is gorgeous major male Stunning, grumpy little thing. Likes getting pets. <laughs> now, I can handle him. He is handleable. Just got to be careful of those nippers, obviously. Don't want to get crunched by those. They are not fun, I am telling you. They are not fun at all. <laughs> stunning, stunning beetle. It's a shame that the female died. I doubt I'll be finding another female anytime soon. Um, but yeah. I love beetles. I'm working a lot with beetles now. Hopefully, we'll be getting a few more beetle species in the future. And of course, as I said earlier today's live, guys, I am going to be making a beetle video soon, including this guy. Yeah, he is definitely a beast. Like, he is prime beetle. He was a ma He is a major, major male. And it's crazy, like, to see the. Oh, I already put them back up, but it's crazy to see the difference between the male and the female. Like, the female. To him would be like this <laughs> but yeah wally um got uh, no problem at all have no problem showing off the flavors for you i uh, did get a few other things but i don't want to dig them up because they are in the little tubs and then i've got the asia dodus here new mantis species asia dodus unanensis gorgeous gorgeous but yeah so guys i'm going to end it here I'm going to just, you know, show you a little beetle, a little bit more. But yeah, so I'm going to end it here, today, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the live today. Really do appreciate every single one of you guys that turned up today. I am planning to make more videos and hopefully do some more lives. Life's been in the way. Work has been super, super busy. So, you know, it's all, all been a bit much recently. But, you know, slowly, slowly being able to get more time and every and stuff to, you know, sit down, record some videos. I've got a feeding video recorded. I'm going to be uploading my Fatal Fangs 3 content that I recorded. Uh, I'm going to be making a video with this little dude and all the other beetles I currently have. Yeah, so thank you guys for coming along. Really do appreciate you guys coming by. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.